So it was raining yesterday, we weren't able to do the garden preview. Max, how's it going? So here's the outside preview. This looks a bit funny, we left it to go to head. I think it's going to seed, it's a little gem lettuce. But it's just, uh, probably a stalk will come out the middle. There's another few here, that's the radish left to go to seed for the pods. Kale, we've taken loads of that, it looks like the slugs are getting that now. Um, this is bush bean. We're leaving that to go to seed for next season. That's little gem lettuce. That looks like it's gone to seed, so we can just whack that one out. And the sweet peas are coming to the end at the moment, so we're leaving them to go to seed again for next year. It's a bit early, but the weather's not been great. It's been raining all the time. There we have cucumber melons, mm. chard, peas still flowering. And we've taken loads of these. We're leaving some to go to seed. But we're taking some of that plant. Here, these are the bush beans. And you can see they're coming on there. These are the ones you planted in that uh, small city garden project thing. That's little gem lettuce again. That's a camellia. Uh, okay, so the potatoes we harvested out of these buckets. And we didn't want to waste the space. So we basically put in those been in these two there four two with the cucumber in the middle last year the cucumbers didn't do too well so we're just testing it out see what it, these last seeds we had they're doing okay um but yeah broad beans that's probably a week's growth they've come out we've got sticks in them that was our sunflower from last year which is holding up this beauty here so the pumpkins coming on nicely and that one we had there before didn't make it so i think every six it takes about six feet worth of growth to give a pumpkin it looks like so we basically got another sunflower in a pot there which is part of the sunflower pot project is already opened here is that pumpkin so it's basically going straight up bamboo stick there we did a little turn and it's coming along here depending on how well it does because that's probably 300 400 liters worth of uh, compost mixed with the uh, compost and manure wicks one and that's nastranium and that's rantum whatever you call the thing so that plan is to go that way and maybe go along possibly but we'll see i don't know it might be too much we might have two or three on there uh, but there's another plant behind us which i'll show you so here is this other plant which actually is grown this year last year didn't grow we put that right next to the roses here's some marigolds peas in the background left to go to seed marigolds roses peas again here there's another sunflower two of them peas behind another sunflower zucchini is doing very well might take this one off today actually we took two off already about this size so you can see that's a nice size we've got rid of the pumpkin because the pumpkin that was growing underneath there wasn't looking too healthy and i think the squash was taking all the water so we've rethought really that and got rid of that pumpkin because another one you'll see is doing really well on the side of the zucchini we have some uh, what is it beetroot leeks are doing really well as well we did leeks last year some carrots in there as well mixed in roses hebe the other pots our apple, apple trees rejuvenated after max ate the bloody thing last year uh, the branches drew the branches off so we put it in the corner and it's growing back that's a little nastrantium taniums plum tree no plums this year hopefully next year uh, this bed is the marigold bed we had bush beans behind it which you saw harvested we left the runner beans and they're doing quite well as well you can see some here and this is the bad boy here so the pumpkin grew up and bam all of a sudden one two and three so we might have to get rid of one of those mm -hmm. another zucchini down here there's a test because it's a shady area I wanted to see how it does it looks like it's doing all right that's the compost We've got some bush beans in the front. We have Max, uh, Hydrangea, Hustas have gone to flower, which covered up all the dustbins and that. 
Max. Tomatoes, the outdoor ones. Um, that's the gardenia. No, what is it? Jasmine. Jasmine. The outdoor cucumber. Let's have a look at that actually. It's not doing very good. It's outdoors, isn't it? But we'll see what happens. That's just uh, off cut. We just whacked it in to see what happens. That's tomato. Tomato. So that is your look at an update. In end of July now, isn't it? Look at these bad boys here. Peace glow. Let me give you the standard view from the corner so you can see progress. That's a small city garden. If you have a small wall, you can get loads of stuff. Come on, come on. He wants to play now. What do you want? What do you want? Okay. But yeah, that's that little project. So you can see with only three tubs, four tubs, you've got loads of lettuce. You've got... What do you want? What do you want? No? No? What do you want? Okay. Um, so there you got loads of lettuce in one you've got bush beans you've got peas and then there you would have had chard and stuff or something else strawberries strawberries would have been good we've got loads of strawberries on the go for next year you can see up here so those will be in these pots there maybe see so yeah, that's a quick update